how to add Klarna to Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with adding Klarna to Shopify and no Shopify store is now complete without a pay in for option. We all know how popular Klarna has become and if you're selling high ticket items, that is especially going to be helpful because a lot of people are so used to putting everything on Klarna that they do prefer using Klarna and this just guarantees you more sales. You are able to ensure that you are going to make money as a business owner especially if your products are expensive then a lot of people even if they do have the money they just prefer to split their payments and Klarna gives them that opportunity so what exactly is Klarna? Klarna is a payment processor and we all have heard of it. You guys can see it allows people to split payments, split payments in four without any interest until if they choose to split in four, if they choose to split in other ways for longer durations of time, there is some interest. So as a business owner to add Klarna to your Shopify store is actually pretty simple. All you have to do is head on over into your Shopify store and then click on settings on the bottom left once you click on settings on your bottom left, you are going to go on ahead and then click on payments. Once you click on payments, this will show you all of the payment options. So you can search via a provider or search by a payment method. Klarna specifically is a payment method within Shopify. So we're going to go on ahead and then click on add payment method. Once we do that, we are just going to search for Klarna and you're going to click on Klarna over here. And there are three providers that are offering the this method in my particular region. Now for different regions, it is going to be different. So do keep that in mind whenever you are trying to enable Klarna because it might look different for you. However, to get started, we are just going to go on ahead and we're going to be using whichever one of these you prefer. Ideally, you want to add Klarna via a payment provider that has all the other payment providers you want. So you guys can see that Ping Pong Checkout has over 47 payment providers, Checkout.com has 24, and then Advanced Credit has 10. I want to go with Ping Pong Checkout and I would just select that from here and then click on Install. Once I click on Install, I can proceed on to our next step. So our next step is just going to be to go on ahead and use and install the Ping Pong Checkout application. Once you have downloaded the application, you're just going to have to sign up for that payment provider like so. So you guys can see if you do not have an account, you can click on sign up for free and you're going to sign up. Let's say our contact name is Lily Davis. And then our company name is Spencer. Then our company website, you would enter that. Your location, your telephone number, and your code. You're going to receive a code on your telephone number. Once completed, your payment provider is going to be added. And then from there, your Klarna payment is going to be available. However, there is one other method where you can also add Klarna and I'll show you guys how. So if you go and alter your business address, depending on wherever it is located, I'm just going to select from here, M1J3 and 3, that was our business address. Toronto and for most regions within Canada and the United States, usually within the United States, you will be able to use Klarna as a individual platform rather than using it as your payment provider. So Scarborough, we're just going to save our new address. And once we save our address, we are going to go back into our payment providers. Ideally, you do want to refresh this and you will see Klarna is now probably going to be available as a option. So if I click on add payment method and now search for Klarna, I would have different options. So this really depends on where your business is located. Now you guys can see I have more options and I have Klarna specifically by Klarna itself. So the payment provider for this is also Klarna. And if I have my checkout system with some other payment processor, however, I do want to integrate Klarna, but I don't want to switch my payment processor completely, then simply add the Klarna app directly. And this allows you to directly integrate Klarna without having to go through any other payment processor. So you're able to add this alternative payment processing tool 
simple without having to go through a more complicated route of signing up for a brand new platform. This just makes it easier for you as a business owner or your business to offer multiple different payment options to your customers. Now, moving forward, we are just going to go on ahead and I am going to go directly and click on install and I can just proceed with the installation. Once you add Klarna, you will see within your Shopify store, if you go into your checkout, it will give your customers the option for checking out in four. Keep in mind that if you are selling products and you have not set up any type of checkout pages, so I'm going to go into this product here, click on over here, add to cart, where we're just going to be using this and then click on on over here click on checkout and once i go into my checkout i can scroll down and you guys can see the payment options currently pannier has only been enabled however when klarna is enabled it will give you your pay in for options it will also display the amount people would be paying so what each payment would look like and after each payment you know if they choose to split it over more than four months what amount of interest would they be paying now if you are wondering whether or not this pay in for option is going to be applied throughout your store to all of your products yes it will so even if you have some lower ticket items some smaller items that you are selling the Klarna app is going to be integrated throughout your store which means that even for products that you might might not have thought of that you would be selling in you know for payments you would be selling in for payments via Klarna however this is honestly not that big of a deal because you would be getting your payments regardless or not people are making those payments with Klarna because Klarna is meant to pay you and you're not going to be responsible if the user or the person that purchased the product fails to pay Klarna it's not going to impact you whatsoever so you don't need to worry about about that at all you're still able to just make your sales and move forward without having any of those issues so moving on we are going to go on ahead and we're going to proceed and I'm just going to go back into my store and I'm going to show you guys some other alternatives. So if you want to use payment options, usually it's recommended to go with Shopify payments. It provides you with some of the lowest transactional rates and it can just be easier because it has been created by Shopify. It is optimized for Shopify. You don't have to worry about any type of failures or checkout issues. Then you also have PayPal as a recommended method and you can add your own manual methods and your own cash on delivery bank transfers bank deposits money orders so you have all of these other options as well i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with using klarna in shopify if you did find this video helpful then make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or any queries you guys can leave those in the comments down below i would love to know what you guys have to say thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video video.